Hey guys, my name is Joseph from JoseMastery.com and welcome back to another WordPress development series tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to do the featured image. So basically above every post, we're going to have a image. And when you click on post, there's going to be an image right there that'll relate to the post. So, um, the first thing we need to do when we create a featured post is we, we need to add the theme support because at the moment our theme does not support it. So to do this, under our add the theme support menus, add a comment, um, add enable featured image and I'm going to type in here add theme support and then post um, thumbnails I believe okay now you want to save your website and go edit post so now if we scroll down you have this little box here that says featured image and that box appeared because you put in that code. So let's quickly set a featured image. Let's get a sample picture. Um, let's do this koala. All right, set featured image. So that koala is now related to our post. So let's view our, view our post. And at the moment, you can't see the koala. Now that's because you haven't you haven't called the function. The PHP function. So we're going to go to our. Uh, let's do. Let's do the single dot PHP first. So above our content here, we're going to add another PHP function, and we're going to call this the post thumbnail. Save. Refresh the page. And there you see our koala now. It is very huge and it doesn't really fit our page. You can see here, it kind of goes too much over. Before we add any, we, or we register any sizes for our banner image, we are going to go to our style of CSS. And I'm going to make a new section here. And I'm going to call it images. And we're going to add a global style for image and make the max width 100% because we don't want any image to be bigger than our uh, container and a height of order. And there you can see it fixes itself. But this at the moment is still too large. So let's learn how to register our uh, different sizes such as a post thumbnail, a banner image maybe around this size so maybe just this square kind of hard to show I'll show it with this so maybe we just want it to be like this because we don't want the whole thing and yeah so let's, let's do that so to register multiple image sizes we're going to go into our functions.php and under this theme support we're gonna go add image size and now this function or command it has four parameters the first one is what do you want to call this size so I'm gonna call this one small thumbnail this is what's gonna be outputted on our blog list and then after that is the size of the thumbnail in this case I'm gonna do 180 by 120 that's the width and then the height and that the fourth parameter is whether you want hard cropping or soft cropping now I'm going to say true and this will crop the image to fit 100% the aspect ratio which is a good thing and we're gonna make one more image size and this is for the single dot PHP I want to call it banner image okay now the size here, we're going to go 920 by 210. 
and once again hard cropping true okay save it and now in our single.php in this post thumbnail we're going to put inside the brackets the name of the image size you want in this case i want banner image and in the index.php in the blog role we need to put that in as well so above the excerpt when i go php the post thumbnail and we want small thumbnail okay let's refresh the page and it does not work out now this is because we need to re-upload the the image sometimes wordpress needs some time to re-upload it i'll just do it right now voila set image update okay now it should work refresh the page and there we go you can see it fits pretty nice not really um we can change this up but at the moment you can see it works which is a good thing um let's check out blog roll yep there it is so it, it's at the moment it's looking pretty nice and let's change a few things up Maybe a bit longer. Let's go to our functions.php. And let's go for 950. Mm, I think we have to re-upload it. Um, I'll be back with the right size. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, the image size I found was 1002. And this took me a few seconds with, few, with the help of a few developer tools okay let's try it out now let's upload the image voila set featured image update and now if we refresh the page it's perfect yay okay let's go to our blog roll and that looks all right but we can make a few tweaks to that before that, see if this is responsive. Yes, see, as you can see, because we turn hard cropping on, uh, it'll always keep it to 100%, which is a good thing. And all images are 100%, the max width, width, so. That's, oh, we'll fix this up later, but that's a problem. Okay, um, let's just add some stylings here. Let's see, what is this? elements you see this is class attachment banner image wb post image so what, what i want to do i want to get this class i'm going to go to my style of css and in images here i'm going to go post thumbnails i'm going to paste that class and i want to give it a bit of a margin from the top my around 20 pixels Okay, so that's one way of using the Chrome Developer Tools, if you don't know about that. Yep, so I reckon that looks alright. Now let's go into our blog role, and let's start styling this. Alright, so what I'm thinking I want to do is I want to um, get this image and put it on the left while the text is on the right. And I only want this to happen, though, if there is a featured image. So, let's go into our text editor. And let's go into index.php. <clears throat> so in this post class called post here, I want to make another class called has thumbnail. And what this does is it takes the class um, basically because we only want uh, the post with the featured image to display the thumbnail on the on the left. So when you use some PHP conditional f formatting or conditional logic. And we're gonna go when I drop it to PHP, I'm gonna go if if has post thumbnail. This is saying if this post has a post thumbnail, then do something. I'm gonna drop PHP and what we're going to do is gonna output that class has thumbnail and 
And then we'll go back to PHP. Okay. Now this might seem a bit confusing. Um, I'll just show you what I'm doing. So inside this div, as you can see, this is the end of the div. Oops. Yeah, this is the end of the div. And there's a class. And the class is post. And then there's all these PHP code. And this PHP code is saying if this post has a post as a thumbnail, then we drop out of PHP, have thumbnail. We're, we're going to add the class has thumbnail, and then we're going to close it off. Okay, it's good. So now we have assigned the class has thumbnail if there is a post, a thumbnail. So let's go back in here. And what we need to do is we need to get the post thumbnail, and we, we need to move that up above the title. Right here. We'll save that and we'll put a div around it. Quote post thumbnail. Okay, there we go. Save that. And we'll go to our styles and we're gonna have some a uh, styling. So we're gonna style that has thumbnail. And what we want here is precision relative and a padding left 200 pixels now i believe our post was post yeah um our post is just a lot of padding here now we also want has thumbnail to have this so we can't have both so we just do important here and that will probably do both okay underneath that we want to style the post thumbnail we want position absolute uh top zero and left zero so let's take a look and there we go you can see here it's on the left now let's just do some margin top 40 pixels see how that looks and there we go so that's how you do the post thumbnail i reckon that looks all right at the moment um yes so i think that's good for this episode now before i finish up i want to make this uh, blog roll responsive. So what I'm what I'm going to do here, um, we're using important here now. I found a way here to minimize that. Now basically, all I need to do is just add in what's before it. So hash thumbnail is inside the class of blog. So that just I'm not too sure why, but it kind of like overrides the other ones. So if we refresh the page, yeah, it still works. So that gets rid of important which is bad practice now let's make the um media queries here so now we're going to add some media queries and we're going to re uh, reference the dot post thumbnail and the hash thumbnail i'm going to style both of them now if we just start directly like this we'll probably have to use the dot important tag because other there are also other stylings in this CSS element. So what we have to do, if we look at the post thumbnail, inside of the post thumbnail is the blog. So here we're just going to go dot blog. And we want the position to be relative. Now for the has thumbnail, we can't just use the blog because if we go to scroll down, let's go to post thumbnails here. Another styling has also done dot blog has thumbnail. So we need to go even deeper. In this case, content left is what we're going to use. Content left. And we're going to go padding left zero. So now if we refresh the page. Oops. Okay. And we scroll down. And just like that, it fixes itself. As you can see, if we're up here, scrolling down, scrolling down, and just like that, it goes down, and it looks a lot better. So now we have create, successfully created a responsive uh, blog role with featured images. And this is, yeah, responsive as well. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Um, please leave a thumbs up, and... I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya.